They were undisciplined as soldiers. We say that there was an army. There wasn't an army. There was a gaggle. These men are ragged, getting drunk on duty. It was a mess. Up against the world's strongest empire. The British are certain they can swat these militia away like pesky flies. Americans lost battle after battle. The British made the assumption that a simple show of force will be enough to scare rebels back to their senses. The question Britain is asking is why isn't this thing over yet? This should have been an easy victory. Boston, 1765. Lately, life in the colonies has been relatively tranquil. Certainly it has for Thomas Hutchinson. A fifth generation Bostonian, Hutchinson has enjoyed good fortune and political success. The king has appointed him chief justice and lieutenant governor of Massachusetts. For years, Thomas Hutchinson has been one of the colony's most admired citizens. Until now. Hutchinson's life is about to take a dramatic and ugly turn. An angry mob is surging through Boston. Hutchinson is about to find out that he's the man thereafter. He's the man in charge of the intolerable new policies imposed on the colonies by their British rulers. Tax policies that have incited an increasingly violent rebellion among the people. A rebellion against a tax imposed not by their own local representatives, but by Parliament 3,000 miles away in England. Lieutenant Governor Hutchinson is duty-bound to enforce this controversial new tax. Though he personally opposes it, he is being denounced as a traitor. Massachusetts has never seen a mob as violent as this. They're not just angry about the money. They're angry at the assault on their autonomy by English rulers who neither know them nor represent them. The revolt spreads like an epidemic through all 13 colonies. It's hard to imagine that the fallout from this tax will ignite a social revolution unlike any the world has ever seen.